Okay, Phil, let's talk here. Um, let's first, because this got us going today, just tell me about John Thompson and how important a role model he was for someone like you. Yeah, so, so John Thompson uh, was so inspirational to me, especially around about 10 years old. Because um, I was a big Alonzo Mourning and Dikembe Mutombo fan. And, you know, just being a person of color, you just saw a man with great stature, great poise, uh, a great emphasis on education, and you saw him demand details. And when you saw him take at-risk young black men and transform their lives into educated, productive, you know, fluent members of their community, not just because they had a good jump shot, uh, you know, or could, could work in the post like some of the great big men that he coached, but because they had good degrees coming out of Georgetown, because not every single one of them was Allen Iverson. So he, he just did a great job of, of, of tough love, of, of demanding a certain standard of excellence. And, and I thought he had a, a, the perfect balance of, of discipline and love. And, and Allen Iverson said that John Thompson saved his life. Well, I, and, and you know, I, I've met Allen on a couple of occasions. Um, and I've always been impressed with his ability to communicate his love for Coach Thompson because I know how demanding Coach Thompson was on him. And a lot of credit goes to Allen for being open to a man as strong-minded about his own principles and values as John Thompson. Gotcha. Uh, you're right in the middle of getting ready for the season. It's going to be a strange season, no doubt about that, with the pandemic. Just uh, tell us how you're doing right now and how the Chargers are doing. We're good. We're, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm tremendously blessed to work for a fantastic organization. The, the Spanish organization has taken this extremely seriously. They put in, um, you know, if you guys have been watching the Hard Knocks at all, they've been they put in a, a series of protocols that are, are first class in every way. Um, not only are the, are the practices uh, completely safe and, and, and consistent, but the people administering them, the, 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 the IFC uh, that we've uh, that, that we've employed here are wonderful people. So yeah, I've taken 37 uh, nasal COVID uh, tests over the last 37 days, but the people that are doing it are first class people and they do it with a smile and they're putting their, their own families at risk every single day by the work that they do. So I've just been really appreciative of not only the organization, but the people that are here trying to keep us safe. And let's talk about this new program you have uh, decided to uh, implement in these times that we're living in right now called Ally. Tell us about that and what your motivation is behind Ally. Well, Ally is just simply uh, an organization that wants to, to align our, our young people from, from a diverse uh, background, from, from two separate communities, from Springfield and Agawam, and we want to align them with good police officers that, that – are, uh, are in the communities doing very difficult work at this time, and uh, they're putting their lives on the line to try to keep us safe. There's there's a, there's majority uh, good police officers out there. There's a minority that are doing some very awful things. And I think what we're trying to do is bring the good people from the sports teams, the football team from, from Central High School, the football team from Agum High School, or, you know, I have community, I have family from Agum, I have family from Springfield, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mixed uh, man, and, and I have issues um, that I've had growing up that, that need to be addressed, and then I'm working um, with, with the town of Agum to get some of those issues resolved uh, in a positive way. I'm working with the head of the uh, Springfield Police Union, Joe Gentile, who's been an unbelievable ally so far. He's been uh, open, willing to listen to, uh, you know, some of the issues that the black and brown community have uh, in Springfield, Massachusetts. So what I'm trying to do is open up uh, positive lines of communication. I'm, 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 I'm tired of people on social media going back and forth with each other about a bunch of divisive issues. You know, my, my message is about inclusion. It's, it's including good police officers with good kids and, and setting an example. And I've outlined it in detail on Facebook, our 10 objectives, and, and we will get into that more at a, at a later date. But we're trying to put together good people from all races that simply want to make a difference in their community. So if you want to make a difference in your community, you know, look at what Ally is. Look at what we're doing and look at what we're trying to get done here for you in Western Massachusetts.